Herbert on first down now. This one caught by Davis. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. They'll run on first down. Colvin, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction. And that leads us to second and 15. Here's Herbert. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Herbert. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Zach Ball. The outside linebacker coming up to drop him for So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Herbert now. Has it over the middle. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 15-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And it's caught. And the Chargers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Eckler will score. Touchdown, Chargers. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense 
They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing Jones. He'll buy some time right. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. Back to throw. Jones. Trying to find Barkley on the out route, and he's got him. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, Jones. Short throw, going to be caught by Roller. And he will have the Giants first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Jones now on first and 10. He'll rifle this one deep right side. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. At their own four yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Second down and eight. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And they work this out past the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Field led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. 
Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. On first down, Colvin. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 42 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They had things a little spread out there with four wide receivers, and it opened up a running hole. Yeah, not only do you get better running lanes because you are spread out, Oftentimes, when defenses see four wide receivers, they substitute in extra defensive backs. So you're uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Now it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. A good job of coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions. And end up settling on his running back to score on their last possession. But the coverage held, it goes incomplete. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnston. That was signal in the timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch. Touchdown, Chargers! Darius Davis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers will extend their lead here just before halftime. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15.
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. That's complete to Jalen Hyatt. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. And the Giants send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. On the return, Jackson. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. And that's into the hands of Ackler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Los Angeles. On first down, it's Herbert. Looking Austin Eckler's way again. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They work now on second and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. From the gun, Herbert on third down. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. On first down, Justin Herbert. He's got Burton here. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes that's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. perspective right now they've got a lead but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves still want to move at a nice pace Justin Herbert looking to pass he dumps it to Eckler underneath well this is going to depend on the spot but it's not a very generous one he looks to be about a yard or so short Brandon has certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it, but it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers, and this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. I'm shaking my head a little bit as an ex-DB, but I'm also nodding because any edge you can get as a receiver, you take it. Runs a stutter go there, about 12 yards downfield, and chops his feet like he's breaking off his route. And then he takes off. There he goes, right side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 34 yards to gain that time, another first down. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. He didn't have a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now Jones. Over the middle, complete. That's Ross. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. up second and goal. It's larger than the air attack has gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Looking to throw, Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Tom Capers, Tom Capers, Tom 
Operating from the gun, Jones. Touchdown! Harris Campbell, his second touchdown on the season. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point try, good by Gano. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On second down, Eckler. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Giants are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you got to be super careful. got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. 
He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging and blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. And he's got a run. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Taylor Mews with it. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Chargers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Jones. He's got his man. It's Hyatt. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Jones. That ball caught by Campbell. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Here's Jones, eluding the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. To throw is Jones. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, I don't know if he sent in contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Jones. 
Rolling to his right. Going deep downfield for Ross. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. Here we go. Victory formation, time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And this, not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to...